Generation X is facing a grim retirement outlook. The report defines Gen X as those born between 1965 and 1980. As of December 2020, Gen X represented almost 64 million Americans, or nearly 20% of the population. For more on this topic, NTD Business's Don Ma speaks with our wealth advisor. Uh, so the latest report from the National Institute on Retirement Security is uh, it shows that Gen X is facing a dismal retirement outlook. It found that um, the bottom half of earners have only a few thousand dollars saved for retirement. Uh, so we're talking about people between 41 and 56. So my question to you is, uh, let's just take the middle number here. Uh, if you're 48 years old, is it too late to start saving aggressively for retirement? So Don, I'm, I'm right in this Gen X uh, phase here and I'm exactly that number, I'm 48. So, you know, it, it's a challenge, right? The, the benefit is starting early. So the earlier you get started, the better. But I think the bottom line is for those that might find themselves behind the eight ball, so to speak, uh, it is time for them to figure out their way and figure out a way to start putting more towards their retirement. Because I think what we're seeing now is really a result of many of the changes that have taken place over the last couple of decades, as far as the shift from defined you know, benefit plans to now defined contribution plans where we're gonna be responsible for our own retirement. So. If, if you're not there yet and you're not above the median and you're well below it, it's time to really get started in a big way. Okay, so here's another question. Whatever your salary is now, is it realistic to assume that you only need half of it when you retire? Uh, you, you know, that means whatever your living standard is now, you're gonna have to reduce that by half. What do you think? I, I don't know that that's a realistic expectation. Many a times the families that we're working with uh, we look at things on the other side of the equation because the salary, you know, the income in a household, it may be a single, it may be a joint. More importantly, you want to look at the expenses. What are the expenses looking like for the family? And many times we're seeing instances where uh, the need is closer to 80% of what their current expenses are, are going to continue into retirement. And in some areas of the country where living expenses may be higher, it's closer to 90 to 100%. A lot of folks who are in the higher living expenses area where you know it's a higher cost of living, they may not see a significant drop off in retirement assuming they keep their situation status quo. So we typically look at that 80% number at a minimum. I think 50% you're shooting on the low side. How many percent should you be putting aside from your salary uh, for retirement as, as a rule of thumb? As much as you can. So, I mean, you know, that really, that it comes down to as much as you possibly can. Obviously, when you're younger, you have the ability to potentially put in less because you have the time value of money working on your side and having that grow through compound interest. I think that that number that you're looking at, and we, we talk to folks all the time about that 10% magic number. If you could save 10% of your earnings every year, uh, especially as a young person, that should put you in a pretty good position over the long haul. Now, depending on how much you have saved at this point and how old you are, you may need to look to you know increase that number in that percentage because if you're sitting around and you're 48, 49, you know, 50 years old and you are below that median and you're at the lower end, you know, and your expenses are relatively high, you may have to put in significantly more than that 10% number to get you back on track. All right, thank you so much, Lawrence, today for your insight. Thanks, Don, appreciate it.